two finger coffee the size of my first. Where did you get these, Mom? What's what does Kmart mean? Farfetch, New York. So I'm a little bit worried that my sneaky little husband has either snuck into this box or it's been tampered with. Let's have a look and see if the goods are intact. And I actually completely forgot about the wrapping paper and we had this lying around. So five, four, three, two, one, lift off, I guess. So basically I'm wearing very lovely skincare and my dignity. that is the longest montage of get ready with me or time lapse if you will that I've ever filmed but after all that faffing I am finally ready and this may not be a big deal for most of you but it is for me because I never feel ready most of the time perhaps when I have some time aside to do some filming which I do today thankfully because uh, it's a public holiday today and it actually is not quite Easter it's a few days prior but uh, we are just all getting ready for the big event which is actually going to be rather a quiet one we're just going to have just some nice family time actually which is really important to us and you know sometimes you get really caught up with what everyone else wants to do but sometimes it's really important to do what you want to do as parents and as a family so we're going to enjoy Easter ourselves now and also we will be catching up with family guys we're not going to isolate but <laughs> anyway so plan of attack for today and I've just realized I forgot to put my lipstick because I wanted to put it on with you now I did pick this up the other day and this is the I think it's a Hydra Balm Hyaluronic Hydra Balm that's right in shade number three uh tea time and this is the most balmy wonderful lipstick I have ever picked up it is so nourishing and moisturizing and juicy oh so once again I'm going to zoom and I think I did include this in another video I've worn it out once by Terry's uh, tea time on my top lip and the nudissimo shade 2 on the bottom. Guys, let's zoom in a bit. I think I like the top one which is tea time. The bottom one's more pinky. Let's mix them together. a real life vision of this lipstick color because even I was not sure quite how it looked and yeah absolutely perfect um corally nude for the season love it well done bye terry and sorry if my eyes are elevated because i'm looking in the viewfinder to apply this in fact you know what i'm gonna look in the mirror
I mean, look at that difference. And I've already uh, lined my lips in my regular MAC lip liner. But, guys, look at that. I mean, this is my new favorite shade of lipstick. It's Coralie, which I always go for. It doesn't matter what the season is. I think just Coral, just it just suits me. If I go too dark, I feel like I look too old. You know, it depends, depends on your skin tone, but I feel like it just lifts me up a little bit and just brightens my usually very tired complexion, which I am, by the way, hence all the concealer. <laughs> and heatless waves are becoming more and more of a success. I would ideally like to tong these uh, ends on this side because one side generally turns out better than the other side with these heatless waves. I'm still getting the hang of it, but you know what? I thought this will do for now because I am going to be trying on some clothes for a few other videos. So I thought I would try to get it all in one, do a bit of filming and also get on to the Easter egg preparation. Now, before I begin my Easter egg preparation, you might be wondering what was I eating during this time that's or perhaps you weren't even, perhaps you weren't. <laughs> but anyway, if you're curious, I've just tried for the first time these raw, it's a raw protein bar and it's super yummy. This is the choc chip cookie dough flavor and it looks like so. And you know what? It wasn't too bad. It's not my favorite. I feel like, oh, what's one that I usually go for? I do like my bar counter bars, but you know what? This is actually, it's actually all right. Very, very yummy. Mm. And I'm also sipping a coffee the size of my face because I need it. Excuse me for chewing on camera, although you may not be very unfamiliar with that. Now, you also may have caught me. Let me finish chewing. Sorry about that. <laughs> you also may have caught me doing my physio exercises. That's what those were. Oh, well, so I was pulling that band there. I've uh, got my shoulder taped up. I've been twice now and uh, we're on the road to recovery. I had a bit of an ultrasound therapy on it, which apparently uh, heals the, sorry, quickens the healing process. My bursa is a bit inflamed due to breastfeeding and sleeping with the baby, lifting, the usual suspects. So I have to do those twice a day. And uh, I have to say though, I'm not the best at this and I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. Who else out there is horrible at following physio exercises. I mean, you know, in my mind, unless it's toning me up or, you know, <laughs> getting me those glutes, who wants to be doing them? But it is super important, so I've been re trying really hard to stick to it. But do let me know in the comments if you too are a little bit lazy with physio exercises. However, I have noticed as I've been doing them, they've really been targeting my shoulder blade, which is the area that I have to fix. So hats off to this guy, he knows what he's talking about. Anyway, on to more Eastery things. So, my idea for Easter was to actually bring out these molds, which I actually purchased last year from Kmart, but never used. And uh, there are these Easter egg molds, so they come into like a little bunny pattern or like a little flower pattern. So, I am making a healthy Easter egg treat, and I've never made anything quite like this before. So I'm using the mold that I showed you before uh, that I have bought from Kmart. It's just a little half Easter egg mold with little bunnies and patterns on them. And on the inside, I thought I might do a peanut butter cream. And I was very inspired by my recent purchase of this Macro Mike powdered peanut butter. And my first impressions of this were actually not so positive. But now that I have sort of adjusted it to my personal taste, I love this stuff. It's half the calories as well, so why not, guys? And tastes like yummy peanut butter. It has got a bit of coconut nectar, this one, so it's a little bit more sweeter than other people that might perhaps prefer more savory. There are other alternatives to this sort of thing out there, so do shop around. But this is perfect for desserts or if you have a little bit more of a sweet tooth. And I thought I would make a cream. Like, I've never made this before, but I was thinking if I wanted to make a cream filling, I could mix this with perhaps some whipped coconut cream and then fill the Easter eggs and then seal them with some more chocolate. So we're going to give that a go first on our Easter adventure. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you my outfit of the day for just getting ready. This is not my full Easter glam outfit, but as you know, when I'm cooking and, you know, working we also have to be doing tablescapes before that we have to put away the laundry there's so many things i have to do i thought i'd go very very casual 
And I realise that for some of you, this may not classify as very, very casual at all. In fact, it could be considered rather glamorous, considering the amount of accessories I've thrown on. But sometimes when you're doing accessories, sometimes more is actually more. It's like I've put some effort into like layering when I actually really haven't. I've just literally put on whatever's been thrown in my drawer and all of a sudden I put some effort into my into my accessories. Now I've felt very pearly today so I have these drop um, chain hoops with some pearls and as you can see I've continued with the whole chain pearl theme uh, with this half choker here and uh, this droplet pearl necklace here which is my absolute favorite. I've gotten so much wear out of this and again combining the gold chain to the pearls on my wrist. Now, as for this outfit, this is actually a debut. I have not worn this or shown this to you yet. This is actually a cotton on, guys. And as you know, cotton on is my new favorite discovery. And I've realized that I've I popped a button. No, it just looks like I'm about to. And after Easter, it'll be popping a lot more, guys. <laughs> now, this is a bit of an asymmetric cool girl look, which is not generally me. But we're going with it. It's appropriate for what I'll be doing, which is working my butt off. Now. This is a bit of an asymmetrical top, which I thought teamed really well with these asymmetric jeans. So as you can see, the fly situation is a little bit different. And the top sort of uh, is the opposite to what the bottoms are. So I thought this kind of worked together. Let me know what you think. As for my footwear, I'm not wearing any because I'll be wearing my uh, fluffy Kmart slippers downstairs whilst I'm working away. Without further ado anyway, guys, and I realize I say that very often without further a Jew. I mean, who am I? <laughs> we are going downstairs and we're going to start the Easter process. Oh, and I forgot to say hello to you. Hello, Pinky. Hello, Pinky. Thanks for watching over my mirror. Thank you. And it is quite the warm day, ladies and gentlemen, and I am back in my uh, gummy bear pyjamas, <laughs> as you do. After all that filming, I knocked off quite a few segments for a few different videos, actually. And uh, the way forward, I think, with these vlogs is to uh, work smarter, not harder. So <laughs> take the moment or seize the moment and get as much filming done as I can. But uh, loving the makeup outside, and I noticed before my skin was looking very unnatural, but with this Urban Decay Dewy Spray that I've been using, and you just use two spritzes of it, not too much, otherwise your make makeup will start to run. I've learnt the hard way. Uh, it just gives you that nice natural sort of dewy glow. So very happy and will foreseeably continue to use that. Anyway, on to the matter at hand, which is uh, my lunch situation. I'm having one of my favourite go-to lunches, which is... A half attempt on a scrambled egg with basil and avocado and cheese on toast with an iced coffee. So I'm going to tuck in and then we will tackle these Easter or healthy Easter egg, half Easter egg treats. Okay, I have my little setup here ready to film the reels and I have my apparatus which is uh, my little half egg molds from Kmart from last year. Now. I wanted to do the bunny rabbits as like a little white bunny rabbit face, but this is quite a delicate area. So I don't think I'll be able to make uh, that detail work. So I might just work with the Easter eggs and try to do perhaps <gasps> that line here or these little bits in between. So we'll give that a go. And I'm using a chocolate I haven't used before. It's a protein white chocolate, raspberry. Mm, yummy. Yeah, raspberry and macadamia flavor. So I'm going to melt just a few little bars of those down, obviously give it a sample, and uh, see if that works out. So I'll do the white layer first, then the chocolate layer, and then we'll work on the cream. Mm. Okay guys, that chocolate is a bit precious. That is really good, and I think it actually has too many nuts in, in it to um, actually melt it down. It's quite, I'm sure if you can see the texture here, so it's quite sort of like a durable chocolate. I'd say it's more like nut buttery, but that macadamia, mmm, what a combo, macadamia and raspberry. So I think I might just use a plain white chocolate, I think, for this part.
to know what the cream was in my uh, filling for the Easter eggs, uh, I've used coconut cream and I actually put the tin in the fridge because it naturally separates the fatty part from the liquid. So obviously I just used that fatty part and when it's nice and cold, you're able to incorporate more air bubbles and it hasn't gone to waste guys. So what I'm going to do is I might save this coconut cream uh, for another dessert and I've also separated uh, the milk because I can probably use that in my smoothies. But just a little handy hint, if you want to make a little dessert, always use the fatty part of the coconut cream and you can always save this for another <coughs> purpose. All right, darling, <laughs> better with you. anything like that either. It's so Where did you get these mum? Kmart. What's what does Kmart mean? Can I touch one of them? They're frosted. Be careful. Audience time. Have one? Yeah, do you want to try one? Mm -hmm. I'll try one. Can I try one of those? Yeah. Is there that you can't? Sure. Yum, yum. And the proof is in that peanut butter pudding. Mm -mm -mm. Right, and on to the birthday cake making portion of the video. Actually, it's a birthday trifle. My husband really likes the chocolate or black forest trifle I make for Christmas. So, hey, if that's what the man wants, give him what he wants. Anyway, you know it's a fancy cake when I'm bringing out the heavy artillery. And this is actually a spice grinder. But we use it um, as a coffee grinder as well. Uh, and we've had this for a good 10 years or so. It's been in the family for ages. Super easy to use. It's by Sunbeam. You simply take off the lid. And I like to pour in, I don't know, maybe up to that silver line there, the amount of coffee beans that I want. There you are. Don't they look beautiful? I mean, I even love the sound of coffee beans. I could so work in a roastery. Anyway, pop the lid on and just hold down. And obviously, the longer you hold the... Uh, finer the grind will be. I think I'll probably just go for a medium grind. And voila, we have ground, well, freshly ground coffee and it smells absolutely delicious. All right, freshly ground coffee in the cafetiera. Pop this on top and in 10 minutes we'll have some hot brewed coffee which, we, which will be the base of our devil's food cake. Now, rule of thumb, if you want a really nice, rich chocolate cake, use a really nice and rich chocolate powder. And I like to use uh, this Play-Doh chocolate powder by Nestle, nice and rich, and as you can see, very luscious looking. So, half a cup of this. wasting that leftover coffee just a bit of rocket fuel to keep me going in my absolutely favorite mug of the moment from Kmart and yes guys it is the next morning and I'm standing next to my little Easter bunnies that I picked up from Kmart and today is my husband's birthday and I'm only in the finest makeup guys. I am makeup free at the moment and I also decided to uh, fake tan this morning. So I'm also wearing the raggediest of ragged, raggediest uh, Aldi leggings, uh, slippers that need to be washed and a very, very old, I think this is from Target, um, <laughs> a little sort of cropped long sleeve here, but anyway. <laughs> So basically, I'm wearing very lovely skincare and my dignity. <laughs> now, let's get to finishing off my husband's trifle. And I'm actually so happy that 
you know he enjoys the simple things in life because to make a cake involves way a lot more thought and effort you have to go into detail with the decorating but this is lovely and manageable for me it tastes amazing it's actually my famous black forest christmas trifle so uh, I need to just whip the cream and basically just assemble because I have all my other elements in the fridge ready to go. So, so I will get to that as well. And I have just cut the devil's food cake in half. And I tell you what, for a cake that has no eggs, look how rich and moist that is. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to tuck in. Okay, I just had to stop my time lapse, which is meant to be perfect, showing the before and after of this whipped cream. However, uh, I just discovered an amazing trick. Watch this, guys. And she goes. <laughs> oh, I know this is looking for a disaster. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Anyway, I'll get you back to the time lapse. Okay, I have whipped cream all over myself and I've uh, managed to leave some in the bowl, guys. All right, let's get to this trifle making. And I have just re-whipped my chocolate pastry cream, which, oh my gosh, I mean, look at those ripples. It is so thick and luscious. I mean, just to give you an indicator about how thick it is, let's see if I can get it to go again. I mean, look at that. Even the uh, cuisine art is struggling, but oh my gosh, so luxurious. And a little trick for anybody who's not as well versed in piping, which I wasn't at the start, to be honest with you. I was all over the place. But an easy way to fill a piping bag, especially if you have a really thick filling, is to pop your uh, piping bag over a glass and let the sides hang over and simply just fill the middle. So not my finest hour in terms of decoration, but because the cream um, softened a little while it was sitting out. But here we are, is the finished product. My very, very infamous, I would say, Black Forest Trifle with all the good things in life. Chocolate, cream and cherries. And it is luscious and calling to me. And the perks of being a chef. I have a bit of whipped cream and chocolate left over, so I am going to 
have a little moment to myself and use the uh, scraps for a little pre-tasting. I mean, that is the perks of being the chef after all. I can confirm, it's good. <laughs> mm. And now to face the unglamorous side of baking, and that is the washing up. <sighs> but it has to be done. But luckily the baby has woken up and I can deal with this yeah! later. And whilst we are in uh, distraction mode, I have just come across... Distraction mode? Distraction mode, that's right. Um, uh, um, I was looking through the Aldi magazine, as you do, and I found some very interesting discoveries which I thought I would share with you because I'd never seen them before. And look at this. It's a hot cross bun gin by obviously an English company, Manchester something, and uh, loaded with spices. So that's interesting. It's kind of caught my eye and got me, got my mind ticking over as to something I could make with that. Also, another random find. A uh, sleeping bag onesie, anyone? I mean, that takes uh, that takes the onesie to another level. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Um, <laughs> I get rather too hot, to be honest. But uh, there you are, sleeping bag oh, onesie. Sleeping bag. A new thing in a uh, Aldi fashion. <laughs> Oh, and I also have to write his card and wrap his present and I have all the children home with me today. And I'm also coincidentally filming on the side another video which is a bedroom makeover so hopefully we can get that all done. And it's all in a very non-glam day but that's okay. This is real life vlogging guys. If you enjoy that, please subscribe. <laughs> I did mention earlier in the video that I've gotten my husband a very extra special special gift. A luxury gift from Farfetch and I'm very excited for him to unbox it. I'm not sure if I'll film that part. I'll probably show it after he's unboxed it but I'll definitely be wrapping it with you and if there's any sneak peeks I can give you I will. Um, so I have to do that as well and that'll be coming later in this video for the uh, big reveal. We'll be going out for a lovely supper. I actually had something else planned but he's going to be late from work so I had to cancel that. We'll see how things go. Okay, present time and this was kindly delivered by uh, DHL. But I've just discovered that the seal has been broken. And it looks like there's a bit of a tear in the packaging here as well. So I'm a little bit worried that my sneaky little husband has either snuck into this box or it's been tampered with. So I actually now have to open this and check it because I wasn't, uh, but now I think I'll have to. Okay, so this is not exactly the big reveal that I was expecting, but here it is, Farfetch New York from Atelier because Farfetch used different boutiques to get their things they're stocked from. So this is from the United States. It arrived very quickly, I'd say within five days actually. So express shipping was included. Uh, as you can see, this is by Saint Laurent. And I wasn't expecting to reveal this now with all the children in the background, but I have to check if this box is intact and if the things are okay because it was slightly open and I've tried to contact my husband because I have a suspicion that curiosity got the better of him. He attempted to look and see what I'd gotten him, which I'd hidden in a secret, secret spot. And if he has, and it just so happens he's working remotely today, so I can't contact him. Oh boy, there's going to be hell, hell to pay. Anyway, let's get back to the box. I think you can probably guess, considering it's a box, what might be inside for a gentleman. Let's have a look. All right, so very quickly, Let's have a look and see if the goods are intact. So, we're getting a sneak peek. Right, one and two. Oh, and we have a 10% off voucher. All right, from Atelier. All right, they come with some lovely dust bags. So let's have a look. So, so far, so good, they are intact. Let's have a bit of a sneak peek. And here, they are. My husband has been looking for a boot for, oh my goodness, probably four, three, four years now. Um, and I have to say these are rather spectacular. The sole is nice and thin and the shape of it's very narrow. And wow, this is actually a very, 
beautiful well put together boot and we have the lovely branding at the bottom there so very smooth so just to make sure <laughs> he's got to make sure when he's wearing them that uh he, he's aware that he could probably slip if it was in the rain but hopefully he'd only be wearing these for special occasions so oh do you like that baby yeah you approve anyway there is the grand reveal and i'll give you a bit of a sneak peek uh later on how they look like because uh he may just wear them out to dinner tonight there you are and i think it might come with a little receipt or uh, maybe some care instructions in here we'll uh find out later oh it's actually a booklet my goodness gracious a Saint Laurent booklet. Okay, maybe how to care for your boots. There you are. All right, lovely. And um, quite hilariously, I've packed an extremely luxury uh, designer gift in the most unbefitting wrapping paper, but this is all I could find. I actually completely forgot about the wrapping paper and we had this lying around. So five, four, three, two, one, lift off, I guess. <laughs> I hope he enjoys the hilarity of this. Now, time to write the card. I'll get the boys to contribute. Um, I had no luck finding a funny men's card that would suit him. So the only thing that I could manage to find that, I don't know, it was sort of adequate and cost me $6, by the way. Old enough to know better, young enough to do it anyway. Uh, so I thought that was appropriate considering he pretty much does what he uh, likes to do on a whim, as most young men do. And I found this for my dad, so I'll save this for next year. Like fine scotch, you get better with age. Or is it as you age, you feel better with lots of fine scotch? And I thought he'd like that considering my dad's, my dad's a whiskey drinker. And before we continue on with our day, and hopefully we get to uh, making the bed, uh, HelloFresh has arrived, and I order this every fortnight now, and it seems to keep us going for the fortnight for the most part, because um, the children don't always like what I pick up from here, but let's see what we've got this week. Mmm, jacket potatoes, yum. Mm. Right. Herbie chicken burger, that'll be nice. But lucky I'm not cooking tonight, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. Ooh, another pork burger, very yummy. And I always try to grab a fish or a veggie option. We have our seared salmon and frika. I love frika, so nutty. No, frika. Now, and what's this? Pork gristles and cheesy fries. So lots of cheesy, meaty goodness. Just how we like it. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the present on the nightstand. Mommy, please don't Perfect. I think my husband is going to get quite the surprise when he returns home. I need to take care of that chair. Let's ignore that. But anyway, looking beautiful when he comes home. Well, this part of it anyway. All right, everyone, we're back from swimming and we are terribly, terribly late. But in other news, the uh, the bedroom is looking OK. Well, apart from all the mess that I've left. But anyway, now I haven't had time to uh, pop on any makeup because we are that behind. But uh, I have some new bits that are making me feel a bit more put together. And this hair clip is absolutely saving me right now. So I feel like I need to pick some of these up in other colors because this new hairstyle seems to be working for me. Now, I've got on this uh, plaid blazer with a watch. So going on, going for a real masculine vibe. Pick this up from uh, Forever New uh, for autumn. And just an all black number underneath. So when in doubt, go all black and then throw on a blazer over the top and you're instantly put together. So this is just a racer neck or a mock neck singlet from Witchery Leather, meant to be ankle grazer uh, leather pants, but they sort of come up mid calf. So I've remedied that by popping on some boots and doing the real trendy thing and letting some skin show through. So let me know what you think about that. Something different for me. But anyway, it got a dash and I will check in when we are enjoying the bed. Well, no, actually, no, not enjoying the bed, but I'll check in when we have experienced the, the luxury of the bed. <laughs> All right, bye.
me from my winter hell Creep into your prison cell Hey baby, can you tell?